I'm just going to briefly say a couple of things uh, about obesity here, and then we're going to open this up for questions for a few moments. Um, obesity is a disease of deficiency. It's not a disease of excess. Obesity is not a disease of excess. Obesity is not a disease of excess. And that's why nobody's been able to solve the problem. Because everybody views it as a disease of excess. It's a deficiency disease. The symptom of the deficiency disease, these special minerals, the minerals deficiencies cause a special symptom called the munchies. <laughs> and so instead of giving you these minerals, medical doctors invented the snack food industry. Hmm? That's the treatment for the munchies, is snack foods. Next. So, Hell's Kitchen is the book for diabetes, for obesity, for the metabolic syndrome. We've got plenty of those out there. Hell's Kitchen, you know, we call it Hell's Kitchen because a kitchen in your home can be a place of heaven or a place of hell, depending on how you cook. I mean, you can kill somebody, you can purposely murder them. All you've got to do is get them out with everything, they eat fried foods, fried foods for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You'll walk. Okay, next. The paleo diet, which is just essentially meat and vegetables, no grains. Oh, wait a minute! Doctors say the whole grains are good. You mean the ones that live to be 56? Okay, go on. Next. Oh, that tells a story. Next. 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 Ne oh, yeah, look at that. Next. Look at that. Next. 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 Okay. Patrick Duell weighed 1,072 pounds. They gave him a stomach bypass. They put him on a calorie-restricted diet, and he lost 462 pounds over a two-year period. And this is him leaving the hospital to go home. When he got home, he died. <laughs> Bam! He just drops dead. Because when you're obese, fat is not the disease. Fat is just a symptom of the disease. Just like when you have diabetes, high blood sugar is a symptom of the disease. When you have high blood pressure, high blood pressure is just a symptom of the disease. Being overweight and obese is just a symptom of the disease, which is a mineral deficiency. The mineral deficiency will still kill you. You all know somebody who's lost 50 pounds, 100 pounds. Well, Francine did such a good job, she lost all that weight, and then she went and died. Next. This gal here, she had two Guinness World Book of Records. Rosalie Bradford, she had two Guinness World Book of Records, very famous lady. Uh, one, number one, her first Guinness World Book of Records, she was the heaviest woman ever weighed. She weighed 1,200 pounds officially by Guinness World Book of Records. You went on two dates with Rosalie, you had a ton and a quarter of fun. And then her second Guinness World Book record, she officially lost 736 pounds. And then she died. <laughs> because the doctors failed to understand that the weight was not the problem, it was just the symptom of the disease. Okay, are you getting it now? Okay. The Mighty 90 will prevent you from being overweight. If you're overweight, you take the Mighty 90 and then you throw in what we call the Slender FX Weight Management Program to it and the weight just goes away healthily. You stay on those things, you never gain the weight back, and you'll add 25 to 50 healthy years of your life. It's that simple. Okay, next. Next, next, next. Oh, back up one. 44% of our kids under the age of 15 of all races look like that today. That's because they are minerally deficient. It has nothing to do with too many video games <laughs> or too much television or too much texting and all that kind of stuff is a mineral deficiency disease. Next, next. See, everybody wants to think this is a cause of obesity. This is this, the symptom of the cause of obesity. It's not the cause of obesity, it's the symptom of the cause of obesity. Next. This young fellow here from South Carolina, 14 years old, weighed 555 pounds. They put the mother in jail and they took him away from the mother, they should have put the pediatrician in jail because she went to him every year saying, my kid's 200 pounds overweight, my kid's 300 pounds overweight. She kept going to the pediatrician, he said, make him exercise. They should have put the pediatrician in jail, not the mother. Okay, next. 
Loyola University in Chicago came out in August of 2009 and said exercise won't help you lose weight. In fact, it makes you hungrier because when you sweat from exercising, you're not losing just water but a soup that contains all these minerals. And when you lose all these minerals, you just get hungrier. Okay. So now you take that money, but you have to take it appropriate for body weight. Somebody who weighs 100 pounds will take one-third the amount of somebody who takes 300 pounds because it goes one dose per 100 pounds of body weight. Okay, it's by body weight. You always come to me and say, well, I've been taking it for 14 months and nothing's happening. Okay, we weigh 200 pounds. How much are you taking? Well, I take a thimble full faithfully every day. Okay, well, that won't work, okay. 